in the coming series of lectures i am going to do a number of programs involving both pseudo code and algorithms i have already discussed what are algorithms and what is a pseudo code now let us first take a simple example of how to write a pseudo code as i told you in the introductory section pseudo code is more english like and it is very close to the actual programming and it's quite easy to understand you can either prefer to write the logic using an algorithm or you can try using a pseudo code the choice is yours there's not too much of a difference between the two so let's say our first problem is that we need to find a, the logic to find the sum of two numbers so wap simply stands for write a pseudo code to find the sum of two numbers now if you have to find the sum of two numbers computer always requires you that you first decide okay that how many memory locations you would like to use so in assume i am going to read two numbers okay let me call those numbers a and b these are the variable names of the numbers they are called a and b initially what value they have really does not matter i am not really bothered then the result of this or the sum of a plus b i am going to store it in another variable called as the sum so if i had to do a logic to find the sum of two numbers what i would do is i would first ask the user enter the value of a followed by the value of b then i am simply going to say add the values of a and b to sum and in the last step i am going to say display or show the value of sum and then stop so let's see how the pseudo code looks like so the first step i am going to say take a variable take the variables a b and sum variables are quantities which can change so this is a b and sum now what did i tell you the next step i am going to read values into a and b so at this step what i am trying to do here is i am trying to read values into a and b so let's say i enter the value for a as 30 and the value for b as 50 okay these are the values i enter into a and b or let's assume the user reads these values into a and b now what is the next step the next step is i would be saying add the sum of or add a plus b to sum or add the numbers to sum so this is how the next step is going to look i'm going to say add the numbers a comma b to sum and the last step is simply going to be display the result in sum okay the last step is going to be display the result in sum so this is the pseudo code logic to find out the sum of two numbers okay so as i mentioned initially let's say we read 30 and 50 at step number 3 the numbers a b will be added to sum so sum will become 80 and in the last step when i say display the result or display the result in sum 80 is going to be displayed on the screen now what we will do is just side by side to this we will take a look at how an algorithm also can be written for the same problem that is how do you find the sum of two numbers using an algorithm so the first step is i am going to start like this i am going to say just see how it matches very closely write algorithm to find the sum of two numbers the first step is start the next step is i need three variables a b and sum here are the three variables a b and sum i am going to give a b and sum the initial value zero because in most of the programming languages you will be doing something similar so the next step what i am going to do is i am going to say let's make a b and sum equal to 0 all right a b and sum is equal to 0 now followed by this what i am going to do is in order to calculate the sum look what i am doing in the pseudo code i am saying read values into a and b so i am saying the next step is read values into a comma b okay here i am reading the values into memory locations a and b after this what is the third step 
third step is sum is assigned the value a plus b okay so the third step is like this all right so here if you say add the numbers a b to sum in algorithm it is shown like this and finally if i have to display the sum i'm just going to say write sum is colon comma sum so what will happen is suppose a and b were the numbers entered the output result would print something like this it would say sum is colon and it would print the value 80 anything which is in double quotes is going to be printed as it is without the double quote sum all these items which are in blue are variables and they are going to be displayed by their actual values it's not going to print the name sum it's going to print this value sum so this helps us wind up our first pseudocode as well as our algorithm just in case you're wondering waa stands for writer algorithm and every algorithm begins with a start and a stop to solve a problem you may use a flowchart or algorithm both are easy although flowcharts help you visualize and understand better but if you understand algorithms perfectly fine so here what what you can see what i am doing is i am initializing a to 0 i am initializing b to 0 and sum to 0 so this symbol is the assignment symbol so with this we wind up our first pseudocode and algorithm